Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this monochromatic makeup look using Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita. In case you don't know, a monochromatic makeup look is a makeup look using the same um, color on your eyes, lips, and cheeks. And I kind of figured if people can use her liquid lipsticks as eyeliner, why can't I use it as eyeshadow? And it actually turned out a lot better than I thought I, it would. I wore it to work. And by the end of the day, I only had creases like where my eye folds over. And we all kind of thought that it would be a big creasy mess by the end of the day. And we were all really shocked that it wasn't. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is prime my face using the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. Then I'm going to go in using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Mont Blanc. And using my damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend it out. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair Neutral. And then to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. And I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender and bake under my eyes. And then to set my foundation, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium. So for eyebrows today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Taupe. So first for eyes, I'm going to be going and using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot from... And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and then apply it all over my eyelid up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Lolita Studded Kiss Lipstick and I'm just going to kind of run it on my eyelid. And then using a Real Techniques shade, uh, Dome Shadow Brush, I'm just going to blend out the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and there's nothing on it and I'm just going to use it to kind of blend out these edges a little bit since it is so um, it's so um, round, the shadow is so rounded just to give it a little bit um, more of an un finished look. So then I'm going to be using a MAC 219 brush and I'm just going to place a little bit of the lipstick on it and, and I'm going to run it on, on my lower lash line. Just very, very carefully.
So for mascara today, I'm going to be using the Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. I'm just going to coat my lashes. For eyelashes today, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection um, Mink number 32 lashes. I'm just going to go apply these off camera and I will be back. So for contour, I'm going to be going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium and using my Real Techniques brush on this middle shade, I'm just going to contour. Then I'm going to be going into the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette and I'm going to be taking the bronzer which is called Malibu, Malibu Soleil and using a Real Techniques um, multitask. I'm just going to warm my forehead back up. I'm going to just sweep it lightly across my cheekbones and into the corners of my hair. So for blush, I'm also going to be using the Kat Von D Lolita Studded Kiss Lipstick. And to apply it, to blend it in, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, so I'm just going to spray it with a couple squirts of the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist, just to dampen it back up, to make sure it's really moist. Oh, I hate that word. And then I'm going to be taking my Lolita lipstick, and I'm just going to make a couple dots over all over my cheek where I would normally put blush and then I'm just going to blend it in with the beauty blender. And I will admit this does take a little bit of time to work it in and it is a lot, a lot of pressure just to make sure that all of those little rings go away from the lipstick. And I'm going to go in couple more dots and just blend it. So for highlighter, I'm going to be going into the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette again and I'm going to be using the shade Rose Gold and I'm going to be using an It Cosmetics fan brush. And then for lips, you guessed it, we're going to be using the Kat Von D Lolita. And when I wear um, this lipstick, it lasts longer on me um, than her actual liquid lipstick formula does, which is crazy. But it's such a great lipstick. And that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this monochromatic makeup look using Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.